God bless everybody. This is Prophet Elia, and I'm so grateful by the mercies of the Lord Jesus to be here with you this afternoon and morning or night, wherever you may be in the world. I believe that God is going to bless you, increase you, and transform your life by reason of what we're going to learn today. I want you to let somebody know that the prophet is live and something will surely shift in our lives more than ever before. God is going to do something new, is going to do something better than what we saw yesterday. Amen. The goal of seeing every other day is that we get to see God's goodness in another dimension. Today I want to teach you about the ability to recover all. The ability Amen. to recover all. What is the mystery in recovering all? Mm. Hallelujah. What is the mystery of recovering it all? Amen. Glory be to the Lord Jesus. I want you to share this. Let somebody know and let somebody know that will let somebody know that Prophet Lovi Elia is live and God is going to bless us. Whether you're on Facebook, I want you to share this. Whether you're on YouTube, I want you to hit that thumbs up as many times as you can and God will see us through. Father, we bless you. We thank you for who you are. We thank you that you do not change. We thank you for your love and your mercy over us. We thank you for the precious blood of your son, Jesus, that bought us, Father, from the works of evil, and you bought us and redeemed us unto yourself. We thank you that every sin is forgiven. We thank you that you have already cleansed us by the precious blood of Jesus, and that we stand righteous before you. Lord, I pray that every man and woman's heart will be opened that they will receive your word and that will be changed forever. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Wow, we are ready to go. We are ready to go. Now, I want to speak about the ability to recover all. The mm. ability to recover all. Mm. I want you to understand that, uh, I, I want you to understand that uh, the way God loves you, it is never in God's intent for you to lose anything. Mm. I want you to understand that. It is never God's intention for you to lose anything. Mm. In God's mind, if he allows you to give up something, it's because he's giving you something better, but not for you to lose. Mm. Mm. Technically, what Satan comes to do the Bible says he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I want you to understand that Satan does not steal your car. He does not steal your family. He does not steal your finances. He does not steal those things. Yeah. What Satan comes to steal is time. Mm. I'll say that again. What demons want to do is to steal time. Mm. Uh, I wish somebody could hear me. I think I'm starting deep already. Mm -hmm. What the devil comes to steal is time. He comes to steal. Not your house. He cannot do anything with your house. He cannot do anything with your house. Wow. He cannot do anything with your money. Mm. What he wants to do is to steal the, the moment of grace mm -hmm. that you're supposed to prosper. The moment of grace that you're supposed to have a fruitful marriage. Satan comes to steal that time. Mm. Wow. Then the next thing, if he robs you of that time, now you are vulnerable because you have no direction. What does the Bible say? Where there is no vision, the people what? They, they perish. perish. Yes. So number two, what immediately happens is you put yourself in a place where Satan can kill you. Mm -hmm. Where there is no vision, there will be no future. Mm -hmm. So what he kills is not you. Mm -hmm. He kills the vision. He comes to steal, then to kill. Mm -hmm. Once he kills your future, uh -huh. by you not having direction, uh -huh. then he destroys. Mm -hmm. Every memory of you ever succeeding is gone. Mm. Now, there's a lot of believers that are wrestling in this realm. Come, 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 Elin, come, come. Oh my gosh, Elin, it's you. It's so you. Oh my gosh, it's you. My daughter Elin is here, high five. Tell them to give you microphone, microphone, mic microphone, please. Wow, 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 wow. God is good, wow. Zakatayaba. Now, the understanding, the understanding of how to recover, I'll say it again, the understanding of how to recover mm. makes the difference. Yeah. I wish somebody could hear me. 
the understanding of how to recover is what separates, is what makes the difference mm. between somebody who is learning to walk with God and somebody that is seasoned in God. Mm. So when you pray because you lost property or you lost money, for God to give you that back, you're praying the wrong prayer. Because you're still operating in the realm of men. You're not operating in the dimension that permits you to recover. Mm. Mm. Wow. An example is this uh, prophet. Sarah was an old woman. She was actually very old. Sarah was not young. She was an old woman. How was she able to conceive? Mm. Scientifically... Everything in her, biologically, scientifically, it was impossible for her to conceive, to carry a yeah. baby. Number one, uh, the eggs were expired. Mm. Everything in her was not going to permit her to get pregnant. How was she able to get pregnant again? Notice when God came, the Bible says, and God, in Genesis 22, can we go back? Can we go there? Genesis 22, I want to show you something. Amen. Let me show you something. Go to Genesis 22. Zapa, Rabakata. Genesis. Amen. Uh, are you there? Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. What verse? What uh, uh, from verse 1. 1. Amen. And it came to pass, after these things, that God did tempt Abraham. Oh, Genesis 21, sorry. Okay. Genesis chapter 21. Genesis, Genesis 20, chapter 21. Genesis 21, 1. Mm -hmm. And the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. Mm -hmm. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived... One more time, read it again. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. God visited Sarah as he had said. Keep going. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. Now stop on, stop right there. If you read before that, God says something very interesting. The Lord says this. By this time next year, I will visit you, Sarah. Amen. And you will be with a child. Amen. By this time next year. But when next year came, Sarah was still not pregnant. Mm-mm-mm. It was her guy that got pregnant with Ishmael. Wow. Mm. And after Ishmael had grown up, that him and his mother were exiled, yeah. is when Sarah is getting pregnant. Shai, shai, shai. Mm. But when she's getting pregnant, listen to what Genesis chapter 21 is saying. Read again. And the Lord visited Sarah uh -huh. as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. The Lord... Read it again one more time. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. So according to God, it was a year later that God visited Sarah. Wow. wow. But in the natural realm, it had been more than maybe 10 years. Wow, wow, wow. That God visited Sarah. Wow. I wish somebody could hear me. But as far as God is concerned, he's doing what he had said. Mm. Read again. Amen. Listen to this. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. Uh -huh. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. Uh -huh. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. Stop right there. God set the time a year later. Mm -mm. But Sarah received it ten years later. Amen. Mm. Amen. I, I, I wish somebody would understand what I'm saying Listening, here. Papa. God is saying to Sarah... And, and Abraham, by this time next year, I will visit you and you will have this and this and this. Next year came, that did not happen. Another year came, that did not happen. Another year came, that did not happen. Another year came, that did not happen. After many years is when it's happening and God is saying at the set time that I had set. But God yeah. set it to be next year. Mm. Amen. If you have ever received a prophetic word from a true prophet, I'm not saying from people who just speak words. Yes, Father. If you have never heard, if you have ever heard anything from the mouth of a servant of God, a true servant of God, mm. 
and it did not come to pass, mm. Satan stole your time. Wow. Ay, 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 ay. Mm. Let me explain it. Let me explain it. In the spiritual realm, there's something we call a time capsule, meaning trapped time. In that trapped time, there is events that are trapped in that time. Mm. That time is not set to the calendar of men. It's set to the calendar of man matching the calendar of God. Mm. You see, when God told Sarah, by this time next year, you will be pregnant, mm. Sarah didn't even believe it. Mm. Wow. Her thing was that, I am old, but my Lord is even old. We know that the one that was barren was not actually Sarah. Mm. It was Abraham. She said, my man is old, he can't, he can't perform right now. Paralyzed mm. waist down. Something yeah. is not functioning there. Mm. But the man believed, and immediately he could plant a seed into Hagar. Mm. But into Sarah it was not working, because Sarah is the one who suggested Hagar. He said, perhaps the Lord meant that Hagar wow. will be the one that will give me a son. Wow. Mm. Many of you, what has happened is this. Many of you, something has happened like this. God promised you something. You did not truly sell yourself to what God said, to truly embrace it and to receive it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. wow. Then something goes wrong. You start saying, maybe if I go, God will answer me when I go through this, or if I do that, or if I do it this way, if I do it that way. Perhaps, perhaps uh, uh, that's when God is going to to, 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 to answer me. That is where my answer will come through. Yeah. Remember, God did not say, hey, guy, we'll have a child. God said, Sarah. Mm. Is somebody catching me? Yes, yes Papa. Yes, Father. God said, Sarah, I will visit you. Mm. God said, Sarah, I will visit you. God did not say, I will visit your neighbor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Time and things are never lost. Hmm. The devil just makes you miss your opportunity and wow. the season of your blessing. Mm. So in order for you to recover things, you have to go back in time to bring that time of grace back to your present time. Mm. If that doesn't happen, you keep waiting for a breakthrough to come and the breakthrough won't come. Wow. Wow. Maybe your breakthrough is in the past. Amen. Mm. Amen. <laughs> I know somebody didn't catch that. <laughs> Maybe your breakthrough is in the past. Yeah. The crucifixion of the Lord Jesus was a past event put in present time. Mm. The moment he was put in present time, now we call it past tense. Because it's an event that already happened. Yeah. But remember, as far as God is concerned, we are still in between the time of Jesus being crucified. Mm. Yeah, yeah. When the rapture happens, we are out of that time capsule. The grace period is gone. Mm. Yeah. So as far as God is concerned, we are between that time still. Wow, wow. That time of Jesus being crucified is not being taken from us. Mm. But somebody can go through life and never know that Jesus came and died for you. Mm. Wow. Satan stole your time. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So there are so many people that are binding demons, binding demons. I bind uh, fire, fire. But your breakthrough is in the past. Wow. Because you don't know the displacement of your package. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. cannot track it. What it has done to you is that it's made you hope for something that you think is coming, yet the thing already came. Mm. Wow. Do you know how many times God answered people and told them, from the day you asked for this, I already answered you? Wow. Daniel received his answer 21 days later, not because God did not answer the day he asked. He was not aware that the prince of the power of the air had displaced his answer mm. by holding Gabriel for 21 days, mm -hmm. not to come through. Wow. wow. Let me show you this. Can you read this, my dear? Amen. Uh, go here, go to Second uh, Peter chapter 3 verse 8. Second Peter, 
Second Peter chapter three verse eight. Okay. Verse eight. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. I read it again. But beloved, be not ignorant. Don't be ignorant. Peter is telling you, don't be ignorant. Mm. It means there's a lot of people that are ignorant. Mm. Listen uh, to what he says. Uh, be not igno ignorant of this one thing. That of this, if you, you can be ignorant of everything. This one thing, don't be ignorant. What is that? That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. One day with the Lord is like a thousand years. Mm. Meaning with God, I can have what I should have in a thousand years. Mm. Meaning there are some people who are ahead of time. Mm. Wow. Because being with God gives them access to things that only somebody that has lived a thousand years can have. Wow, wow, mm. wow. <laughs> I wish somebody could get this. A day is like a thousand years with mm. God. Uh huh. And a thousand years as, an, as one day. And a thousand years as one day. Meaning that if I understand how to communicate with God, mm -hmm. I can enter into a time zone that I can capture what was mine a thousand years wow. in mm. the future or a thousand years in the past. Mm. Because a day is like a thousand years unto God and a thousand years is like a day unto God. Mm. Meaning what was in the past yeah. that your father, your great grandfather yeah, yeah, could yeah. not do. To God is like one day ago. Wow. Mm. He can just give it to you. Wow. Wow. And to be with God, you can capture what was a thousand years in the future that your children's children's children were supposed to work for. Amen. You can capture it now and give it to them. Amen. Wow. I feel like I'm wow. talking to myself. This is good. Mm. Wow. This is why Solomon was wealthy. This is why Job was wealthy. Is these people are not ignorant of this fact? Yeah. Mm. You're teaching, Father. This is good. The reason why you have no ability to recover everything. Are you listening to me? Yes. The reason why you have no ability to recover everything. The reason why you have no ability to recover everything is you are fighting for material things instead of fighting for time. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Somebody didn't hear what I said. Mm. Oh my Please goodness. The reason why you're not able to recover things. Jesus. The reason why you're not able to recover things is because you are fighting for material things instead of fighting for time. Jesus. Mm. A farmer does not fight for crops. A farmer fights for the season that crops will grow. Yeah. Mm. This is good. So somebody who is fighting for the harvest they lost last year. If last year the time was not good, that it caused your crops to mm -hmm. perish, mm -hmm. you need to manipulate time in order to receive the time that the crops could prosper mm. and bring it to your present time. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you the mystery of healing. Mm. The mystery of healing. Healing is not God removing cancer that you have right now. He makes it to disappear. Because what has happened is already in reality cannot be reversed. Mm. When Adam and Eve sinned, God could not just do away with sin. God had to pay a price for men to be redeemed from sin. Why? Because the sin had already entered the natural realm. Mm. 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 Now God being God, what did he do? Christ was crucified before the earth. Yeah. So meaning that if God did not allow Christ to be crucified before the foundation of the earth, there would be no remedy for sin. Mm. Mm. I'll say that again. Mm -hmm. Jesus dying on the cross was not a backup plan. It was the plan. Wow. Mm. Mm. Because God was thousands and millions of years into the future. Mm. That is why it says that, uh, 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 it says, and the lamb was slain from the foundations of the earth. Meaning Jesus did not die 2,000 years ago. Wow. He died before mm -hmm. 2,000 years ago. From yeah. the beginning, when he says the foundations of the earth, it's actually on Jesus himself. Mm. Mm. So meaning God already built the earth on the solution mm -hmm. of sin. Yeah. Wow. 
He did not create solution to sin after sin had happened. Mm. Because the moment sin happens, if God did not create a way out wow. from the beginning, there is no way out. Wow. Mm. I wish somebody could catch what I'm trying to say here. We hear you, Listening, Papa. Wow. <laughs> Jesus was not, a, you know people say, and the redemption plan of God because he felt sorry for us. If God is God, he cannot feel sorry for you now. Yeah. He must yeah. have already known what is happening for him to feel sorry to redeem you. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Wow. God founded the earth on solutions. He did not found the earth on backup plans. That means he is not God. Mm. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Listening, Papa. We hear you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is somebody listening? Listening. Yes, Father. Yes. So the issue is, where is my time displaced in order for me to recover what I need? Mm. Wow. Mm. Yes, yes. <laughs> Not the material things. Because if I have that time that that material thing exists within, I can get that material thing anywhere. Mm. Wow. So the mystery of healing is this. Because Jesus died from the foundation of the earth, your, 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 your healing, let me go back to healing. Mm. Your healing does not happen because somebody prays. Yeah. The only prayer that brings healing is the prayer that has the ability to go back to the time that this, the, the cancer was hey, starting. Hey, mm. hey, hey. And that time to be removed out of your life, mm. then your present time will not have cancer. Hey, wow. wow. Is that making sense? That makes sense. Mm. Yes, Somebody who has the ability to bring Jesus to the time that uh, uh, cancer was about to start. Yeah. Arthritis was about to start. This and that was about to start. Bringing that time out of your life. Mm. Make sure that in your present time it's not there. Wow. wow. Is this making sense? Yes, Papa. Yes, yes, yes. Healing is not the disappearance of what was wrong. <laughs> wow. Miracles is the appearance of what was not there. Healing is not. Mm. Healing is getting rid of something that is here. But how can I remove it here if I don't remove the source? Mm. So in order for somebody to be healed, you have to go to the source where the root of the problem was. Wow. Get rid of it, then present time it will disappear. Amen. Wow. Wow. This is powerful. So somebody that is not fighting for that time, because God is coming to Sarah and telling her, uh, I have come to you like I said, I will come next year. Mm. Sarah mm. is like, what? It's been 10 years. <laughs> it's been 10 years. God is saying, no, 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 no. It's been a year. Mm. Wow. So whose fault is it? Definitely not God. Yeah. Because Sarah allowed herself to be kicked out of the time of God continually until the time she decided that, okay, you know what, I am going to trust God. Then the time that God promised appeared in mm. the natural for her. Yeah. Mm. Wow. 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 Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Sheesh. That wow. So good. Some of you have missed your marriage breakthroughs. Some of you have missed your business opportunities. Some of you have missed this, you have missed that, you have missed this, you have missed that. You think the blessing you have seen is the blessing it's not. Mm. Wow. The Bible says, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and adds no sorrow. If your blessings are adding sorrows, it's not a blessing. Wow. Oh my goodness. It may be a distraction. <laughs> mm. I wish somebody could hear me. Listening. Yeah, if I Wow. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, I wish somebody could hear me. <clears throat> if your blessing is adding sorrows, it may not be the blessing. Something is missing. Mm -mm. Mm. Wow, wow, because wow. the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and adds no sorrow. What does it mean to make rich? It prospers areas of your life. Some of you have lost money. 
Some of you have lost properties. Don't fight for the property, fight for the time. Mm. Because as long as you can have that time back and you can maintain it, yes. you have multiple properties because that time capsule allows you to have properties. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. Mm. Wow. Let me give you another example. Jesus takes bread, blesses it, and the bread doesn't run out until the people are satisfied. Mm. Is when bread stops coming out. Mm. So as long as they would not be satisfied, the bread will keep coming out of the basket. Mm. Wow. When Elijah went to the widow, the flour would have never run out as long as there was drought. Mm. The moment drought ended, the flour and the oil ended. So your ability to maintain the time that God gives you determines if you're going to keep the same blessing and miracle continue. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Mm. Somebody didn't hear what I just said. Mm. Your ability to manage that. You see, everywhere the Bible does not say, and God favored uh, 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 Joseph mm. in Potiphar's house. It says everywhere this guy went, he was favored. Mm. Wow. He was in prison, he was favored. His brothers threw him in the pit, he was favored out. Mm. They sold him, he was favored even in his, in his trouble. No matter what he did, he maintained favor. Mm. Amen. What are you fighting for? Wow. What are you fighting for? Mm -mm -mm. What are you trying to hold on to? Mm. Somebody is not listening to me. Listening, Papa. Wow. What are you holding on to? Are you holding on to people? Are you holding on to things? You see, some people, to be honest with you, uh, you may have married the wrong person mm. because mm. you wanted marriage mm. so bad. You may have married the wrong person. Mm. Wow, wow, because wow. God cannot restore what was not right. Mm. Wow. Something that was broken wow. from the beginning cannot be restored. Restore what? Wow. To restore means take it back to its original state. Mm. 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 Things that can be restored are things that were already perfect and something went wrong in the future. Wow. There are some people wow. who are praying for marriage restoration, but your marriage was wrong from the beginning. What is God restoring? Mm. Wow. <laughs> I can do a factory reset on my phone because it was working from the time it was bought. If this phone was broken and I'm trying to restore it, if I go to Apple, they will say, we will give you a new phone because this one is broken. Mm. You cannot restore what is broken. Mm. Wow. Check. That's good. Somebody is not listening to listening, me. Listening, Papa. Ah, you're teaching, Papa. God redeems man because man was created perfect. Mm. Wow, wow. God redeems man because man was corrupted. Mm. Man did not corrupt himself. Wow. The reason wow. why God does not save angels that fell is because no one corrupted them, no one deceived them, they had no tempter, they destroyed themselves. Wow. Mm. It was a choice. So wow. God cannot deliver you from something that is already broken from the beginning. Wow. I know people would not like this, but I'm telling you the wow. truth. The reason why God can change somebody that was a killer into somebody that is not a killer is because when they were born, they were not born with a knife killing somebody. Mm -hmm. This was corruption over time. Wow. Too <laughs> much. I wish somebody could hear me. Listening. So the restoration is not of a person. It's mm. a restoration of time. Mm. Wow. And some people were given the right person and you did not manage it. Yeah. You messed it up. Mm. Wow. I, I wish somebody could hear me. Listening. Let's say an example. You are a drug dealer. Made a lot of money. And then you are arrested mm. when you became a Christian. You got arrested and, you, and they took everything from you. Or let's say you are a robber. You are robbing people. And you did all these things and you came back to God. Mm. When you come to God, God won't restore what you stole. 
Mm. God mm. will give you a new beginning. Mm. You can't pray for restoration because that was not yours. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. wow. Mm. That's good. Mm. Hmm. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Yes, Father. Because what you maintain is what has been registered in heaven for you. Hmm. Mm. Wow. I, I wish somebody <laughs> could hear me. That's good. Wow. Some of you, you need a new time, a new beginning. A new beginning is when God gives you the opportunity to rebuild your life. Mm. Some people need a, a restoration of time. Amen. Because whoever has time can recreate their own life over again. Mm. Imagine if the prostitute that Mary Magdalene, mm. when she came to the Lord Jesus and she was restored by Jesus. And she said, now Lord, uh, I pray that God will restore the finances I had when I used to, to, to be a lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The reason why Jesus could give Peter fish is because Peter was a fisherman. Mm. Imagine if the prostitute came and said, Lord, I pray that you will restore the time when I used to make a lot of money with this business. What would Jesus say? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I wish somebody could hear me. Listening. Hear you, Listening. I, 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 I wish you could hear me. Loud and clear, Papa. You cannot restore what was broken. Mm. Mm -mm. Because what God creates has the ability to sustain itself. Mm. Every tree gives birth to its own kind. Mm. Wow. This is why it's important to have discernment so that when God releases something over your life, you know what God has released is from God and it has the ability. All you have to do is manage it. Yeah. Mm. So the question again, what are you fighting for? Because to, uh, the ability to recover is hidden in time. Amen. Go to this quickly. Let me show you this. Uh, and then we'll finish for, uh, for now. I want you to go to Exodus 21, verse 18. Uh, uh, no, 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 don't go to Exodus yet. Mm. Let's do this, let's do this. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. Joel 2, 25. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, 25. Mm -hmm. And I will restore to you the years that the locust had eaten. Ah, uh -uh. God is not restoring what the locust had eaten. He's restoring the time, mm. the wow. years. Wow. wow. Mm. <laughs> Read it again. Mm. And I will restore to you the years that the locust had eaten. Mm -hmm. The canker worm and the caterpillar and the pommel worm, mm. my great army which I sent among you. Mm -hmm. And ye shall eat in plenty mm -hmm. and be satisfied mm -hmm. and praise the name of the Lord your God that hath de dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. Stop right there. Read it one more time, 25 to 26 again. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Uh -huh. And ye shall eat in plenty mm. and be satisfied and uh -huh. praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt wondrously with you, mm. and my people shall never be ashamed. So you will never be ashamed because of God giving you plenty or God giving you the time. Mm. God giving you back the years. Mm. Wow. Jesus. Mm. Mm. That's good. So you are not ashamed. God does not say, I, I will bless you and I will take away your shame. Mm. Yeah. God is yeah. saying, I will give you back the years that the locusts and the canker worm ate. Then you shall enjoy in plenty. Mm. Yeah. And you thank the Lord that dealt wondrously with you. Mm -hmm. But all God did was he gave you the time. time. Wow. That canker worms had no access mm. to, your, to your harvest. Wow. Amen. So now wow. when you receive harvest, nobody is interfering with it. Wow. That's good. So what you ought to be praying for to recover is not 
the car, the house, the neighborhood nice. is the time. Mm. <laughs> if God, now think about it like this. Now this will help you understand this even better. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yeah. Yes. So God has not changed in your past. God has not changed in your present. Mm. God has not changed in your future. Yeah. Meaning God is still in sync. Yeah. You are the one who's changing in years and time, but he is not. So what I, I was supposed to have yesterday, God still has it today. Mm. That's good. What I was supposed to have today, if it was in the future, God still has it. So what I need from God is the time that I was supposed to have with him last year. Mm. That was supposed to give me everything that I was supposed to have now. Yeah. Yeah. And I can still access it because God is still the same. And if he's the same, he has my blessing of yesterday today. <laughs> mm. He has my blessing of next year today. Amen. Wow. It is up to me to decide when that today will be. Mm. Wow. Because as far as he's concerned, today is like a thousand years and a thousand years is like today. Hey. Yes. So this blessing that God has, I may miss it, not because God did not want to give it to me, but I may miss it and my great-great-grandchild will be the one that will know what God had for me wow. and receive it in his time. Hey, wow. Wow. Wow, wow. Listen to me. I want every blessing that had my name on it. Amen. Let my children have their own. Mm. In my lifetime, let me get what was yes. mine. Amen. Amen. That is why the Bible says, I will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Listen, in heaven, everybody sees the goodness of God. Mm. Mm. Where it matters most is here. Yeah. Wow. You know, people have this thing, uh, in heaven, we'll have everything. Duh. Mm. We are not in heaven yet. Mm. I, want, I want to feel heaven here. Amen. I want to warm up for heaven here. Amen. I don't want the comfort to be in heaven, I will have everything. Yeah. I want it to begin here because God promises it from here. Amen. Yeah. So the question again is this. The question again is this. The question again is this. What are you fighting for? Mm -mm -mm -mm. What is more important to you? Do you realize even the world understands that time is money? Mm. Yeah. But you, you want money, you don't want time. Mm. <laughs> oh my wow. goodness. Even the world understands that the, 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 most, the, 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 the most important currency is time. Mm. And the crazy thing is we all have the same amount. But people out of that time, they can harvest different things. Mm. What are you fighting for? You can bind all you want. Mm. If you don't access the time, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. You can cancel all you want. If you have no access to the time, it doesn't matter. Mm. Mm. You can call Holy Ghost fire all you want. If you don't have access to the time, it doesn't matter. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Because if you bind the devil, it doesn't mean that your natural time just comes forth. <laughs> mm. If you don't know where your blessing is, it doesn't change anything. Mm. How wow. many prayer warriors do you know are struggling? Mm. Let, no, let's be honest. Yeah. Bishop, how many do you know? Uh, Uncountable. <laughs> yeah. If you are to put them together, it's like a legion. For we are many. <laughs> 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 I'm not saying don't be a prayer warrior. Mm. No, Every Christian right. should be. But it must be with wisdom, with understanding of spiritual things. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Fire, fire, it's good. And then after fire, what? Help us. Notice this. When Joseph was in prison, he prophesied to the cupbearer and the one who had bread. Mm -hmm. What did he tell them? He said this to them. You can walk, you're fine. He said this to them. He said to the one that was the cupbearer, what did he tell him? He told him, when you are restored, don't forget me. Mm. Wow. Are, are you hearing yeah. what I'm saying? 
Joseph was very wise. He was conscious of time. He said the time will come back. When he saw him and he knew where this person was coming, he already knew that God was going to give the Pharaoh a dream, mm. that he was the only one who was going to have answers to. And he told him, when the time comes, don't forget me. Remember me. So, but the servant didn't know how he was going to remember somebody. How am I just going to start the story with the king? Oh, king, there's somebody who can interpret dreams. Mm. He already has people. Yeah. But when the king said, I had this troubling dream, the guy said, I remember a man mm. that when you banished me, the man said what was going to happen to me. Mm. And it happened exactly. Mm. Notice Amen. the time was not when he goes back into the palace. Mm. The time was the opportune time that will pull him from the pit. Mm. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. Wow. Joseph was aware of time. Wow. When these men were bringing their dreams, they did not know they were informing him of what was to come for him. Mm. Mm. They thought it was for them, but they did not understand it was for him. Mm. That's good. Mm. So the question again, what are you fighting for? Mm. Joseph came out of the pit because of timing. He understood the flow of time. He understood his opportunity. Mm. What are you fighting for? My prayer for you this amazing afternoon is that God will give you the eyes I to see. access the Lord will give you the eyes to have access. Mm. The Lord will give you the time to have access to time. I receive. I receive. To have the understanding of time. I receive. How could Mary be pregnant when she had never known a man? Uh, are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Become time conscious. Jesus Amen. says, a time is coming that neither would anybody worship God there or here, but they will worship him in spirit and truth. Mm. That time came. It was right before them. Some people have missed it to this day. Mm. So time is not a matter of time. I wow. remember when I was ministering in the house still growing, a man came and he said, I, 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 I want to get a group of people that we can fast and just pray for God's promise of the spirit. I said, what do you mean? He said, pray for the Holy Spirit to come. I said, my brother, <laughs> what are you talking about? He said, no, 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 I just, you remember him? I remember, yeah. He's like, I, I, I was like, this is a more than 2,000 years ago event. We have already entered into that experience. He said, no, 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 but I'm looking for that day that fire will come from. My brother, it came and passed you. You are not conscious. And this was an older man too. It was so sad because wow. a lot of people are living like that. Uh. So you notice time is not a matter of hours and dates. Yeah. It's the consciousness of the spiritual realm. Wow, mm. wow, 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 wow. Wow. Time is to be conscious of the spiritual realm. Mm. What are the events taking place? Yeah. And what does it have to do with me? Wow. My goodness. Hey. Father, I thank you for everybody that has heard this word. I pray that their eyes and their ears and their hearts will be open and their spirit will have access to the truth of your word, that their lives will never be the same by reason of what they have heard today. I pray, O oh Father, I pray, O oh Lord, let there be a shift and a transformation in their lives that will push them to the dimension that you have ordained for them to enter into success, spiritual success, physical success. Today we redeem every time that has been lost that was destined for our greatness. Every opportunity, the same way our parents seized the time for us to come into this world. Father, I pray let every other opportunity be seized now. Let the time be seized now that no time will be stolen. The same way they tried to steal Moses' time, Jesus' time. We cancel every single thing that has been stealing our time. Today we restore that time in the mighty name of the living Jesus. I decree and declare, let there be change now. Lasting change in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Amen. Listen to me. Don't miss tonight. I'll come back tonight. We'll learn about other things and uh, I will go deep into some of the developing things when it comes to church, uh, uh, the building. And I thank God for this hour. I bless you and I love you and I will see you later. Shalom.